Hey everyone, it's JoJo, and I'm bringing you more Beyblade Burst Surge. I have more Speedstorm Beyblades. I have two double packs. On the left, we have Minobaros M6 and Glide Dolohan D6. And on the right is Regulus R6 and Sphere Valtrek V6. So let's take a look at this one on the left first. So here we have Minobaros and Glide Dolohan. So Minobaros is an attack type. I'm sorry, is a balance type, and Glide Dullahan is a stamina type. Here we have the two bays up front and the stats for both of them. Glide Dullahan is a right spinning Beyblade, comes with D09 Forge Disc, and the performance tip is TSP 04-M. It's got really, really high stamina and pretty decent in weight, low and average everywhere else. And Minoboros M6, a Again, a balance type right spinning Beyblade. It comes with a two part forge disc, DR69, nice, and the TSP01 performance tip. And it is pretty average all the way around, except for agility. It's pretty, pretty slow. Now I noticed with this one, it doesn't have metal on it. It doesn't have that dash M at the end of the performance tip. So this looks like it's just a taller version of the Fusion performance tip. I believe that is Fusion. Yeah, the original Fusion performance tip. It does look taller. So again, I will be doing a comparison between the original one and the current one we have here. All right, moving on, we have the Regulus R6 and Spear Valtraek double pack here and I was at first I thought these colors were kind of weird but I kind of like it because it reminds me of the Lion King and I'll get to that in a little bit here on the back we have all the stats and parts so Spear, so Spear, I keep saying Spear, Spear Valtraek V6 is a defense type. It's a right spinning Beyblade. It comes with a D73 Forge Disc, which I believe is a Hasbro exclusive. And the performance tip we have seen before, TSP06-M. And there are the stats, pretty, pretty high all around, except for in a couple places. And here we have Regulus R6. It is a stamina type, a right spinning Beyblade, and another Hasbro exclusive Forge Disc D78. And the performance tip is TSP03. And like with the other one, it doesn't come with the dash M at the end, so it doesn't have metal. And I believe this is um, Survive. I believe that it is, but it does look a little bit different besides the heights. And again, we'll get into that. All right, so. Let's get these Beyblades open. First, we're going to take a look at the Regulus R6 and Spear Valtrek V6 double pack. Here on the top, this is Regulus. And again, I really like these colors because they have like Lion King type of colors with the orange fur, red mane, these claws here on the side. That actually looks pretty good. I like it. Uh, it's kind of growing on me. And here on the back is the code for those who don't have it yet. And so this particular energy layer was first from the Switch Strike series and it did keep its gimmick. So originally this is considered a defense type because when you move or when you launch it, these uh, little blades or like the mane and the claws of the lion kind of come out and supposed to make it whiter and uh, make it more defensive and as it slows down it retracts it just goes back into the underside of the layer which is pretty neat so i'm glad they kept that gimmick and didn't just make it all fixed i was a little bit worried because i saw these screws here i'm like uh is it fixed no it's not so it kept its gimmick which is really cool next up we have the forged disc this is a Hasbro exclusive SW4 swipe. It's got a really great shape. It's just too bad it's pretty hollow on the underside. And then next up we have the performance tip. So this is originally supposed to be like survive. You can see the logo in there, but they made it so much taller and they even flattened it out on the tip. And here is the original survive. You can see the tip very clearly in the same logo. But if you look at the tip, you could tell that this new one, the taller one is flatter. So it's not gonna have as much stamina. It's gonna be a lot more aggressive and move around in the stadium more. And uh, also check out the uh, the height difference between the two. I mean, I know I'm not holding it evenly, but you could definitely tell there is a significant difference. So yeah, if these two Beyblades, or if these two parts were to go up against each other, the Beyblade with this would most likely hit the forged disc on, on that Beyblade. So yeah, it's more impacts on the disc because of the height 
change. And honestly, I kind of like the height change because it kind of reminds me of Metal Fight a little bit where you could change the tracks and the height so it gives it a little bit more variety, which is, you know, calls for more combinations, which is great. All right, so moving on, we have Spear Valtrek looking really awesome. It's like LA Lakers colors. This, I love this color. Looks like lightning as well. Looks great. Um, even the plastic on the storm chip, let's pull this out on Valtrek. Looks great. Oh man. The translucent plastic, just very nice shiny paint apps. And here is the back side for those who don't have it already. And here we have an upgraded Dullahan, kind of. So we have Dullahan here, the original, which is a Hasbro exclusive. And check it out. Look at the uh, that upgrade. Looks great. And just as a sneak preview, here is the other Dullahan from Beyblade Burst Surge. Just to kind of give you an idea of how much it has upgraded. A lot more wider. But man, I, I think I like these colors better <laughs> than the original blue and silver. I mean, the blue and silver looks great, but man, these yellow and purple, they just complement each other really well. So I feel like just the energy layer alone would be more of an attack type just because of all the blades and the upper slopes. I'm not sure how effective it would be because there's not much of a gap in between the wings. So hmm, I don't think the attack power would be as great um, compared to something that was a tri-wing type of type of a layer. So this is more of a quad. But yeah, check out the uh, the difference. Uh, shorter wings on the original Dullahan, definitely longer, much wider. Bigger and better, basically. The next up, we have another Hasbro exclusive Forge disc. This is Lore, L for Lore. Again, it is kind of, you know, pretty good shape like this. More gaps, but again, too bad. It's just a little bit empty on the underside. And next up, we have the performance tip. So we've seen this again. This is Universe-SPM, which came with Curse Satum. And this does, this particular one does have metal. So. It's basically a very wide ball and it is free spinning on this top and this outer ring is also free spinning and we have some metal additions on top of that. All right, so let's put regulars together. There you go. And we will weigh them, don't worry. Let's actually do that right now because I want to compare it to Dullahan. All right, so this is the new Dullahan, 11.13 and then the old one, 10. 0.05. You know, the weight may vary because this is the Valtrek chip and not the original Dullahan chip, which I will get to in a different video, so don't worry about that. All right, let's put these two together. And check that out. Look at, look at that weird height. So crazy, but still very interesting. Oh man, that, that reminds me of like a plastic gen type of gimmick like Rock Bison. Next up, we have the Minoboros M6 and Glide Dullahan D6 Dual Pack. And I absolutely love this recolor of Minoboros. I love the silver paint apps on the top. Uh, kind of looks like it's wearing a helmet. The clear plastic, the purple looks great. Very shiny in the middle. The black always complements purple. And we have these like uh, gold accents here. All, all around, it just looks, the color just looks really nice. Here's the underside for those who don't have it in the Beyblade Burst app. So long ago, Minoboros was actually pretty good for attack, like during the single layer and uh, dual layer era. I've seen some people pair this with Quake, Oval Quake, just because it makes it jump around and <laughs> make it really sporadic. Next up, we have a two-part forged disc. So it comes with RT for Ratchet and Lift for the frame. All right, so the Hasbro Ratchet is not like Takara Tomy because they, you know, they removed the, the outer plastic part, the spinning part, and uh, they removed it so it could be more compatible with frames, allowing for more customization. And then we have the lift frame, which could be used in two different modes. So here is one mode, the original mode that it was uh, assembled in. You can see that the, the bottom part it is a little bit more narrow than the top, but it is smoother all the way around. And you could just flip this around like that. And now the base is, is wider, but it has these three points on, on this outside here. And I believe the other mode, I believe this mode is better 
because it is smoother and it will allow for more uh, rolling on the frame and helping it keep upright during battle. And then next up we have the performance tip. So this is a uh, taller version of Fusion, kind of like the Survive one. So here we have the original Fusion. Here it is uh, side by side. Still has the same little t uh, tip in the middle. It does look a little bit wider though. And definitely again, the height difference between the two is amazing. So yeah, basically with the new Speedstorm Beyblades, they're making everything taller, a little bit more heavier by adding metal on the performance tip. Yeah, it's actually a pretty good fit. All right, so that is Metaboros M6, put you aside. And then let's move on to Glide Dullahan D6. So this has retained its uh, gimmick, you know, the ability of the wings on Glide. I just hate this color. <laughs> this color is so weird. It looks like like candy, like unappetized, unappetizing candy. I don't know why. And uh, for some reason, the chip comes off really easily. It doesn't lock into these tabs here. I don't know if it's the Dolahan chip or just like bad molding on this particular glide. So let's test that out. Here we have Valtrek. Okay, it might be it might be this version of of glide. For some reason, it just doesn't retain or hold in place the chip very well. So it's kind of loose. Now here is the Dullahan chip. Here's another side-by-side -side view between the two. Kind of has the same design, just a little bit. You can't really tell, like with the original Dullahan, you can see that clearly this is a helmet. You can't really tell with this side, but still very, very cool looking. And then here is the code. So go ahead and scan that right now. Once again, we have the, the glide energy layer which I have talked about already just don't really like this color Ugh, I don't know why why this color it just looks I don't know what it is it just looks weird to me it looks like a like a, a Fisher Price type of toy anyway uh, moving on we have the forge disc R for ring very old from like the first uh, single layer Beyblades I actually like to use this a lot when I first started playing in tournaments because of its stamina and then I found out it's actually not that great. There are better uh, stamina type forge discs. And then next up we have Revolver-SPM for the performance tip. Again, we've seen this before. It's got the same spinning plate, but Hasbro has made it flatter for more aggression and added metal on, the in on this top part here on the base. All right, and that is Glide. Dolahan. All right, so that is everything. Let's do some test spins. All right, here's everybody in the Speedstorm Bay Stadium. Let's do one at a time. Let's start off with Minoboros M6. Let's test out this new performance tip. Three, two, one, let it rip. You definitely heard the scraping from the frame against the outer edges here. Check out that movement. Now let's see if it'll roll onto the frame since the performance tip is taller. Oh, it doesn't look like it did very well. Next up, Spear Valtraic. Three, two, one, let it rip. All right, looking pretty balanced, not too bad. Little bit of wobble, but still doing okay. Right, and that was Spear Valtrek. Next up, Regulus R6. Three, two, one, let it rip. Yeah, the Survive performance tip, the original one would not move around like that. I don't know if you could tell, but you could see the, the white plastic that is 
kind of surround the out the outside and as it slows down it should go away because it's retracting into the energy layer all right and that was regulus and then lastly we have glide dolan three two one let it rip <laughs> And yeah, that is an aggressive revolver performance tip. Alright, and that was Glide Dullahan. Alright, let's do some test battles. First up, Regulus and Spear Valtrek. Three, two, one, let it rip! <laughs> Double burst immediately. And then moving on to Glide, Dullahan, and Minoboros M6. Three, two, one, let it rip. Uh, wasn't really a fair fight for Minoboros in the first place. All right, you guys, that is it for this review video. What do you guys think about Beyblade Burst Surge so far and the Speedstorm abilities? Let me know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and I will see you next time with more Beyblade Burst. See you soon.